for sure. It's obviously a quick camp, so uh, things are, you know, happening quickly. Uh, not too much time to officially prepare, even though we've had a lot of guys in town for a while. So um, just try to uh, maximize every day, understand the importance of it, uh, just because how quick camp is. Um, the intensity uh, and, and the first three days here have been just uh, extremely demanding. Uh, so good to kind of regroup here today, uh, get a few things done uh, off the ice and, and back at it uh, going into the weekend. So um, it's been a great start for the group and we got to keep building on it. A quick follow up. Uh, do you appreciate the position you're in? Uh, there's thousands of people across the country, including uh, people on this call who uh, would badly like to be playing hockey and you guys have that chance. Can you talk about that a bit? Yeah, I think we, uh, we recognize that. I know personally, um, many kids, um, you know, professional players, uh, leagues around the world that aren't playing, uh, that are just waiting in a limbo and, and obviously just very affected by the virus. And, uh, you know, we're very fortunate to have this opportunity. So, um, you know, you're already thankful and, and know uh, how, how uh, special it is to, to be an NHL hockey player and to play at this level every day under normal circumstances. But uh, to be here, um, playing uh, at a time like this with everything that's going on. We know that uh, we can uh, hopefully bring uh, uh, some normalcy, some joy to a lot of people's lives and uh, um, to have the opportunity to play. Uh, there's nothing better. I know how many people at many different levels would, would love to be uh, getting ready to, to start playing. So hopefully uh, that time comes soon. For yeah, I think we're all glad to be just uh, here at work. Um, you know, a long time off. Um, I think we're looking forward to playing and each day that goes by we get a little bit closer so it's been a lot of fun and we're going to continue to try to work hard here at camp and get prepared for for Wednesday night I guess we just talked about it just now just uh you know under a week away so we're excited uh, and one more quick one um obviously uh you guys are in a privileged position and being able to play when a lot of pros and amateurs uh, aren't uh, able to play right now uh you know what are your thoughts on that yeah I mean I think as a group, we are, are very fortunate uh, and we're happy to be here. Um, I mean, like you said, that the, I mean, there's a lot of people that are in, in different positions right now. So I think to be here at the rink at work, uh, uh, preparing for a season, we feel very fortunate and, and, and very lucky. I think we try not to take anything for granted. And, you know, we're looking forward to the challenges that are ahead. And um, it's important that we stay focused and just, um, I mean, there's a lot of gratitude right now for us. Thank you. Next up, we'll go to Kevin McGrand, Toronto Star. Go ahead, Kevin. Hey, Morgan. I just wonder, without uh, without any actual exhibition games against opponents, what do you think the the start of the season might look like as teams try to get you know into their systems, into their timing, that sort of thing? Could it be like chaos and a mad rush, or what do you think it'll be like? Uh, I think teams are going to be hungry to play um, after a long break, and I think teams you know, really understand the importance of a good start. So I think that, uh, I mean, here, players are taking camp very seriously. We're trying to learn the system. So, I mean, when that puck does drop on Wednesday, we're prepared. And I think that's what everyone's going to be doing. I, I, I wouldn't expect too much chaos. I think guys are going to be really anxious to get going. But I think teams are going to be prepared. They're going to be well coached. And I think they're going to be well taken care of when it comes to, to our structure. And, um, I, you know, I wouldn't expect it to be too chaotic. But um, I think they'll you know, be high energy and, so who knows? But uh, I mean, I think we're all just looking forward to getting going. Well, we'll have we'll have a shorter uh, five on five practice, and then and then the bulk of our day will be spent on special teams. And then as we go into Saturday, we're going to essentially replicate a game day types of setting for us. We'll come in in the morning and have a, a morning skate for the guys, a light practice, and then uh, send them on their way, and come back in the evening uh, for a seven o'clock. Uh, blue and white game and yeah we're expecting that to be more of uh, you know, as close as we can get to an exhibition game and we're going to we're going to try to replicate that as close as possible with our meeting times and all of the procedures we would we would typically go through in our preparations for any game uh, we will we will go through that and uh, you know it's essentially the final um, final day before we will get a day off on Sunday and we'll come back here for two days of practice and uh, start preparing for the regular season games. Thank you. Next up, we'll go to Kevin McGrand, Toronto Star. Go ahead, Kevin. Hey, Sheldon. I'm curious about exhibition games today. Um, 
without them this year, except for your own blue and white games, um, do you think the, the start of the season, not just talking about you guys, but league wide, what do you think that will do to the teams? Do you think there'll be like, it'll be chaos of time, teams trying to make adjustments on the fly, trying to get their timing, maybe goalies off. What do you, what's your take of what the start of the season could look like? Well, you know, I think it's easy to say that, that it is going to take some time for, for those, uh, those habits and details to come into play. That's typically, even when you play, uh, you know, an exhibition season, it seems like in the regular season that it does take a little bit of time for those things to come together. So I think it would, it would be natural to expect that. At the same time, you, you look at the experience uh, you know, in the bubble with one exhibition game and then right into playoffs, uh, I think there was a lot of sense that perhaps uh, details would be lacking and, and those kind of things. Um, but I think if we saw anything, uh, it didn't take long. I mean, it's more on how the players respond and they recognize, um, you know, the urgency of the regular season, the schedule and all those kind of things, and they can dial, dial it in. But I think it really is, it's, it's as much a mindset um, more so than it is the teaching or any of those type of things. So, you know, that's really, um, you know, remains to be seen. But uh, I think our expectation is that we're going to have to get that stuff going and, and that we're going to execute it at a high level right from the start.